What's, What's up, up, everyone? Up, Kevin likes the WAP. He does the WAP at home sometimes. He was saying before check the out show he does the WAP. TikTok. Oh, yes. man. It's at Kevin Gallagher. He grinds on little girls. Big TikTok guy, Kevin. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Another week, another episode. We got a lot of uh, content this week. As uh, always. Uh, Manny's cover is looking good. I missed you, Manny. I missed you guys, too. I'm sure the viewers missed you, too. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> Nothing. What happened? You'll see it on the video. <laughs> what do you do? It's funny over there. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, anyways, uh, uh, <laughs> let's get right into oh, the uh, top up. Don't hurt Do- Jonathan Taylor. It's okay. Uh, you need to be off the Blackhawks. All right. So, Kev, what do you got for uh, Kev's Corner? Let's go. Thank you for getting Wait. something. What? Yeah, actually, we got something a little different. Oh. I won't let you guys forget the candle. Oh. Kevin called me like five minutes before the show in an absolute panic. Like, he was literally crying on the phone. Oh, no! And he's like, I don't have a candle, Matt. You gotta bail me out. So, you know, I said, here, That's here's a time. candle. Go yep. fuck yourself. Go show everyone. <laughs> oh. Oh, habanero. That's ah. my kind of candle. Show the, show the show, candle. I want, if I smell this, am I, are my eyes gonna start watering? Show the candle. Show <laughs> what the, is it? Show them. What's up? So, you gotta explain see. it. I'm oddly <laughs> looking at this candle, and I cannot, or I can say with almost absolute certainty that I have never seen a candle <laughs> that has a what, jalapeno legit? pepper on it. <laughs> Does this you mean don't like that my, it smells that's, like that's chili pepper, but okay. I don't oh, know. That's a chili pepper. pepper. Look at it. Look, look, so look, look, look at the dimension. See, it's I not, did. It's a pepper. See, I buy the wrong candles. So, like, I guess I can't do anything right to please. Let me smell Does it. this smell like a chili hey, pepper? Let me smell it. Let me smell it. I don't know. Let me hey. t- Wait, smell. there's no safety instructions on it. Is this legal? Oh, You're so funny, Kevin. It smells like... Yeah, you gotta. You're yeah. the one who. So yeah. You're the candle expert. I took this like. Should Coles? Let me see. Let me see this. Yes, we should. Give me, give you me, know what, Coles? You should start selling pepper candles. It smells like lizard penis. We have already said that. Actually, that, does that smell like pepper. It Weird. smells like a pepper. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like Maybe that's why I there's can't a wait gigantic for one to make a pickle pepper on it. it. I want a pickle pepper. Uh, Kevin would show the pickle his ass. Coles put a pickle candle in your store. Kevin, can you get the lighter to work? You literally Dang. brought that Dang. Dang. candle. Just light the motherfucker and let's do this. <laughs> Gee, oh, leave him, leave him. There you go. Oh, does he have it? <laughs> he, oh, there. he's got oh, it. There. Yeah. Let the peppers bad. be smelled and the this thing is ice tilting. be watered. No, oh, fuck it there. It's, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. If it falls and burns the house down, it's going it nowhere. Me. Unless That like, will be a blessing. I don't know. But, uh... Like okay, I said, let's candle. get back into uh, your Kev's Corner. What, is, what yeah, do you have right, to guys, What, what is, did you bring? All right, uh, it is time for another installment of Kev's Corner, <laughs> the best <laughs> part of this show. No. Oh. That's false, but it's it okay. the biggest horse shit. So this week, because of the Fall Classic, we're doing top the five pitching performances. The Fall Classic? Yeah. You mean the World Series? That's what it's called. You're, you're telling me you've never heard of Natty, but you've actually heard of Fall Classic. Yeah, because I've been watching baseball yes. since Andrew, I was like have you ever seven. Heard, have you guys ever heard of Fall Classic? That is the biggest flame I've ever seen on a It's candle. bigger than Kevin's dance. Yes. <laughs> but Look, my Kevin's candles are better than yours. And <laughs> you've never heard of the term Fall Kevin's. Classic. No. Yes, I have. Okay. We're watching the World Series right now. That's the screen that we're... Uh, Those are the, the ugliest the, hats I've ever that's seen. That's reflecting on us. And, all right, so uh, game five. All right, let's continue. So, top five pitching performances of the 21st century. Number five, I'm going with Freddy Garcia. Um, the White Sox, 2005. Uh, it was game four, the closeout game uh, against the Houston Astros. Um, ready for the sweep. Uh, he pitched seven innings, four hits, seven Ks against one of the best hitting teams in baseball. Uh, they beat the Cardinals. Uh, they were doing pretty well. Uh, Wait, just... I thought this was against the Astros, Kev. What did I say? The Cardinals. The Cardinals. No, I yeah. said they were doing. <laughs> the Astros beat the Cardinals. I don't know what's going. On. Kevin just never mind. But they beat three Hall of Famers. He was there. dominant. Uh, the only run of the game was Jermaine Dye's single right up the middle. I remember watching that game and I went crazy. It was <laughs> the best series I've ever seen in my lifetime. It's not only because I'm a Sox fan. So number four, what? <laughs> no, it was me and Manny, dude. We, yeah. got, we got our thing going on over yeah. here. Right. You and Andrew got next. Your number four, Josh Beckett shut out in Game Six. Not only did he beat what 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 series? Uh, 2003 World Series. Okay. Not only did he beat the best or the defending champions, uh, he beat the Yankees in the two thousand. They won the World Series in 2000, and they had about the same roster in 2001. 
Uh, it was clearly an upset because I think their record, Marlins' record, was like 89 or something. They were second in the NL East, and the Yankees were had the best team or the best record in the division. Mm-hmm. And he also dominated against the Cubs in the NLCS. So continue that performance with his Game Six performance. Uh, it was nine innings, shutout ball, five hits, nine Ks. Uh, he torched the Yankees. Um, it was the Game Six, so it was the closeout game. And he was an absolute stud, except for Game Two. But in NL or in the NLCS against the Cubs, he was dominant. Um, so that brings us to number three, Madison Bumgarner. His Game Five shutout um, in the 2014 World Series. Uh, he had nine innings, four hits, eight Ks, no walks, and that continued his great postseason. Not only was he great in the World Series, but he was great in the postseason. Is that a penis next to his name? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> no, go on, go on. All right. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah, brings Kevin's us, got the porn ads. Eh? That brings <laughs> us to number two, one of my favorite pitchers. I think Matt can vouch for that. Um, I always play with him in the show. Randy Except Johnson. Except he doesn't exist in the show, but that's okay. The yeah, older the show. Creator. Go All on. All right, so game two, uh, the 2001 World <laughs> Series. Again, he was playing the Yankees. Uh, nine innings, three hits, 11 Ks, one walk. He was an absolute beast. And why wasn't he with number one, Kevin? I do not know, but Kurt Schrilling was... What? No, number one in your list. Why didn't you pitch game one? No. Oh, because yeah, of two. I have to go Mad Bums Game 7, 2014 World Series, do or die, five innings. On two-day rest, he pitched five innings, a five-inning save in 2014. Uh, he had four Ks. He had 50 strikes out of 68 pitches, uh, five innings, two hits. He was a beast, and that copped off one of the greatest postseason performances ever. Okay. Well, so what do you guys think of my list. list? What do you think, um, Andrew? I was thinking beforehand, I those top four right there, I mean, Josh Beckett, Madison Bub three, um, Randy Johnson number two, Madison Bub one. I mean, that's like, I feel like that's everyone's top four for like, the, at least like the 2000s era. And number five, you can pick, you can go Strasburg, we were talking about that before. You can go Garcia. It's, uh, number five is a tough pick because it's hard to get stunning World Series performances like these, like Josh Beckett and all of them. But I think Freddie Garcia is a solid number five pick. The rest are undebatable so you would put Strasburg at five i think i would not only because i'm a Sox fan but freddie was i mean he was he's he was getting up there in age and beating the astros in game four and closeout games it's it, all i mean all these up. all these were closeout games so all these pitches were it was their closeout games to win the um, world series so that was pretty cool what about okay, you guys yeah, that's Except way Randy too Johnson. much time for the worst segment on our show whoa, so we'll whoa, just, whoa, 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 come, that was a what, wait, what topic list Cool or yeah, I mean, I just agreed. wish he did top 10 pitching performances of the decade. Oh, so shit, I know he's, he's talking shit about your list. Okay. Well, no, I'm just saying, so I wish I could comment on him. I don't know what, what about you, Johnson man? did okay. in 2001. I wasn't even born, so I a can't quote, comment. A quote from Andrew who just said, they were all to win the World Series. The guy that should be number one on everybody's list, Mike Montgomery, in 2016. What did he do, ladies and gentlemen? What did uh, he do? He what? won the Cubs the World Series on the final pitch. That's all I wanted to say. It was he, his relief role, you're saying? So yeah. one pitch won him the World Series. He threw a couple pitch. He threw a couple pitches. <laughs> but no, it was the key of the moment. What happened? Their Cubs were in what, a hundred and eight year drought? So then literally you have all the whole entire pressure of the entire world on you right there. And to come out and win that game, that's what I call leadership and championship. I or would you put that number five or what? I put that number one. What oh, Oh, you actually man. made a list? No, no, he's saying that. He, he's he just was saying just that. Switch. You're insane. Do you uh, know who Madison Baumgartner is? Yeah. Okay. He's a pitcher. Yeah, he's I like uh, What team? I saw that well, performance by Madison in 2014 to win the Game 7. Calls it out. That was crazy. I saw Randy Johnson. I saw Luis Gonzalez. Well, you're probably the only one that saw Randy Johnson because none of us were fucking <laughs> boring at it. That, that was a great catch corner, though. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. Yay, 